All right, y'all, I am back and I'm making another thing with my big secret uh, that I gave you the other day about sauteing vegetables. We're going to make some smoky sauteed vegetables and we're gonna make them smoky with some smoked sausage. So y'all pull that out and I'm gonna show you about getting these ready first. Going in here, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in my skillet. I've got it up on medium, about medium medium high, something like that. The first thing we're gonna do is chop up these babies. And y'all, we're gonna serve this over rice as well, or you can serve it over whatever you want to, but let's get a few of these chopped up and in there so that I can get this cooking. The reason I wanna put the meat in first is because of the flavor it releases when you're cooking it. Oh my goodness. The flavor it releases when you're cooking it is amazing. And I like mine to be, I'm gonna move that over a smidge. I like mine to be smaller bites because I have a little mouth. <laughs> but I know as much as I talk, you wouldn't even think I had a, a small mouth. But every time I go to the dentist, they tell me. Um, so we're just gonna put these in there and let them start rendering out that good taste that it has. Now y'all, these are, Cajun flavor, so they have a lot of flavor in them already. And if you get plain, you may want to add some seasoning to it, but y'all, it's good with plain too, without a lot of extra seasoning. So you're getting all this flavor without a lot of extra seasoning, and I think that, and a lot of extra effort, and I think that's worth a whole lot. Use this and get it as good as you can and your family's gonna appreciate it. They love it when they sit down and they have really good food instead of something that they're like, eh, it's fine. So y'all, let's get some flavor into the food. Make everybody's day. Now, the thing about doing this is that you can always pull in the fresh, I didn't cut that up good enough. You can always pull in the fresh, whatever produce is fresh in your area at the moment. And, and add different things. Like today, for instance, I'm gonna add some cabbage because cabbage goes very well with this. But I'm also gonna add some of my peppers that are fresh and a squash, a zucchini squash. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna cut this up and get this in there. So see, this is gonna add a whole bunch of flavor. And while that's going to town, I, I need to show y'all what I'm gonna do to heat up the rice. Now I'm gonna get the ready rice and it is the Spanish style with tomatoes and peppers. And I'm gonna go ahead and, y'all know when you get this, you have to do this. <laughs> if it's stuck together, you have to maneuver it. You have to squeeze it, okay? <laughs> and get it unstuck together. This stuff is real easy to use. Now if you wanna make your own rice, make your own rice. But it's just me and David here, so I'm doing this and making it easy on Dana. This goes in here for 90 seconds. So I'm going to do that. 90 seconds. And then I've got, I know I told you one of my low-carb tricks is to add cauliflower to it. You know, that riced cauliflower. So I've already got this ready, and I'm going to show you how I jazz this up. I add some diced tomatoes and chilies to this. So let me open it and dump it in there and we're gonna heat this up. You don't have to do that at all. If you want it just the way it is, just use it just the way it is. But I like the extra tomatoes and you're getting tomatoes and peppers and they're very healthy for you. So why not? And if you're one of these people that your family can eat onions, you know, my husband's allergic then you would get the stuff that had onions in it. But this is what I use because he can't do the onions. And it's really strange. If they're cooked till you can hardly tell they're an onion anymore, he can do okay with it. But if it's got any kind of rawness in it at all, it makes him not good. And also, um, he can use onion powder. So that, isn't that interesting? I thought it was when I figured that out. But anyway, let me get this going. And this, I can smell all the good flavor coming out of that. Lord have mercy, I wish you were here. You could smell it too. 
All right, this is about to come out and I'll show you what we do further to make the rice part of this really delicious. All right, we're gonna open this puppy up and not burn ourselves, right ladies and gentlemen? Woo, baby, it's hot. All right, we're dumping that in. This is the Spanish style rice. And see, it's got all kind of flavor already in it. And then it's gonna go in there with the tomatoes that I just put in there with the tomatoes and the peppers and the cauliflower. And we're gonna pop this back in the microwave for another minute or two and just let it all get incorporated. Let me get something to cover it, y'all. I don't want it splattering in there. I have a lid for that, but I didn't get it out. Okay, so I'll put that paper towel over it. Let's go for about a minute and a half. All right, now we got this going, and now I gotta add some stuff to it because it's running away. So anyway, peppers going in. Always add peppers if you can, if you like them. If you could add onions, this is when you'd add them. You know, my husband, like I said, cannot have them. But I do like them, and so when he's not here, I'll throw an onion in. What's something your family can eat? I know that my daughter is allergic to cheese. Now, y'all cheese. And it's not, it's yellow cheeses. Anything that's aged, she doesn't do well with. And we didn't find that out until she was older. And my uh, grandson can't eat shrimp. So I always buy that um, for him, that stuff that is imitation crab because it's, you know, he feels like he's getting seafood and it's just made out of fish. And he can have that. All right. If you want to put throw in a squash, you can. And I'm going to throw in a zucchini squash because I've got so many squash right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in and let them get cooking. If you don't have it, don't throw it in. I mean, if you just want to do this with just straight cabbage and meat, just do it with cabbage and meat. I've done that plenty of times, and it's good. But my parents loved the Cajun smoked sausage and told me about it. Y'all, we got to do a little bit of seasoning on that, so let's just do a little bit of salt. Not too much, because y'all know there's salt in that smoke. Sausage. All right, we're going to cut up this cabbage. And you know, you can buy cabbage already cut up if you want it. And you won't have to do all this. But I don't have any that's already cut up. That would make it even faster. Okay. That's going to cook down and be a really good meal in a short amount of time. Okay. I hope y'all enjoy this. If y'all been cooking any of my recipes, y'all tell me down below what it is, what you've been cooking. I have gotten some of the sweetest messages from y'all, and I appreciate it. I tell you what I do. When I was growing up and when I got married and was cooking and I never knew it'd lead to something like this where people wanted to talk about food with me and wanted to taste of my food. All right, I'm doing a smidge of salt and now I'm gonna do probably half a teaspoon of pepper. I like pepper a lot. Uh, and if my grandkids are coming, I don't add as much. All right, y'all, we're about to start flipping this over. I'm going to turn the heat up a little because, you know, adding all this stuff made it go down. Y'all, this is an easy, easy thing. Now, sometimes I add cayenne pepper to it, but I'm not going to add it today because I have the spicy sausage. If it were the regular sausage, oh, yeah, cayenne pepper would be going in. I love cayenne pepper. And just think how healthy you're going to be when you get through eating this with all this good, healthy food. And not only are you getting vegetables in this, you're getting you some vegetables inside the rice. Remember, you got the cauliflower in the rice. 
Okay, we are close to having a meal on the table. And my honey is gonna enjoy it when he gets in from the farm. Oh yeah, yeah baby. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! All right, I'm gonna put the lid on this and let this go. So we're gonna have to talk about something while we're waiting. So, let's talk about my cookbook. Happiness is Homemade, y'all, is available on Amazon. This is my family's culinary heritage right here. It's recipes that have come down through my family lines, uh, and I got some really good cooks in my family. So if you don't have a Southern mama to get in the kitchen with, come on in and get in the kitchen with me. When you're in the kitchen with your Southern mama, we share recipes, check on each other and see how you're doing and talk things over as we're cooking. And when we get through, we feel closer, we feel good, we feel better, and we also have some really good food. So y'all, my secrets are in here. Not all of them. Maybe I need to write another cookbook, huh? But um, anyway, they're in here and y'all can have them. You can have my family recipes and claim they're yours. It's all right. All right, they're available on Amazon. Let me put this back over here. Happiness is homemade, y'all. I know, it's so simple. So simple. Let me stir this up some. So really what you're doing, when you're doing, you're cooking your cabbage, when you throw it in there, you want it to start wilting, and you want some of it to caramelize, okay? You want it to wilt and caramelize. So we're gonna have to talk a little bit more because that's not ready yet. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk a little bit more. But anyway, um, let me talk to y'all about where are you from? I'm from Alabama. Where are y'all at? What's the weather doing where you're at? It's cloudy here. It's been raining, but now it's cloudy. And um, everybody's fine. My hubby's on the farm. I'm here working. My grandkids are in their different places where they're supposed to be this summer. They're busy. Uh, my daughter is helping with Bible school, the one that's the teacher. My son that's the vet, he's at work, and my son that's the engineer that he uh, designs rockets, he is at work. So they're all busy, and I'm here with you. Yeah, isn't that great? So y'all tell me where you're at. Now, I'm going to pull up some stuff to plate this so you can see how I do it. So let me grab this just a minute. And remember, folks, if you can saute vegetables, you can turn a regular few things from your pantry into a great meal. I'm telling you, you can. Uh, it's not hard. And when I figured that out for myself, I was a happy girl. And sauteed vegetables, as one of my people on here said, you can even use them just as a side dish. It doesn't have to be as a fajita or as a New Orleans seafood or as smoking veggies, you know. It can be just a side dish. Oh yeah, baby, these are looking good. Now you have to decide how done you want your cabbage. Do you want it to still have some, you know, teeth to it where it's still a little crunchy? Or do you want it cooked down real well? How do you want yours? To see all of the stuff you can eat raw except for the meat, and we've got that done. All right, let me show you how we're gonna put this in here get this going. So we've got our rice and cauliflower and rotel mixture. This is gonna be so tasty. And y'all, sometimes I jazz it up by putting other things on it too, but I don't think I'm gonna need to on this. I got plenty of stuff in here. So we just make us a little, a little place for all of this goodness to rest. Oh, I can feel some pepper. Oops, I'm fixing to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me, Lord. Let me reach over here and wash my hand off with my rag. Mmm, gracious, that pepper got right up there. Okay, let me look at this and see if I'm about ready. Oh, yeah. Now, see, some of it is already getting kind of changing colors. See? And it's getting the way I like it. Now, I don't like mine cooked to death. A lot of people do. I still like mine to have some crunch to it. Oh my Lord in heaven, that looks so good. Smells delicious. 
Well, I'm about to add this over here and plate it and put me a big dollop of all this right in the middle. Mmm. Look at that. Y'all think you're in a restaurant. You're really in your own kitchen because you, you're going to make this and you're going to enjoy it. Your people are going to enjoy it too. I, I'll vouch for that. All right. Now, I'm going to turn this down. Then we're going to do a taste taste and see what we did. Okay, let me scoot this over. And scoot this over. Look at this, y'all. This is smoking veggies. So this is sauteed veggies with smoked sausage. And if you decided you wanted corn in this, or if you want peas or whatever, you throw them in there. It's whatever you want to do. It's your recipe. It is your recipe, okay? So I'm gonna get a little of the stuff on the bottom, some of the meat, and one of those yummy pieces of pepper and cabbage. Come on, you, get on my fork. work. It does not want to get on my fork. work. I'm just gonna have to help it along. Oh yeah. This is making my mouth water. The smell is divine in here. Here we go, we're going in, smoking veggies. Mmm, 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 mmm. Let me just have some more. It is so good. And tasty. That sausage is so smoky. Mmm. 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 It is delicious. One more little taste taste. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-hmm. <laughs> I love it. Okay. That is so juicy. It's so delicious, all those flavors in there. And you see how long it took, no time at all. Y'all go make you some smoking veggies. The good Lord loves you, I love you too. Y'all join me in the kitchen anytime. Love and blessings to you. Bye-bye.